Hey guys, Kyromania here, and today we're doing another Python tutorial. And the next one will be a very interesting, it'll be um, it'll probably be a long one. It'll be on encryption, so you can encrypt your messages. Uh, but this one will be basic, this one will be, this one will be basic, it'll be a binary converter. You'll type in a binary number uh, with a certain amount of digits, any number you like, and it'll convert it to a binary number. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is print, so they know what they're doing. Welcome to the um, binary number converter. Uh, do, do, do an exclamation mark because we'll print enter your number now. Yeah, enter your number here. Just, just enter your number. Just enter your number. So when you do that, uh, enter your number. Okay, BN. We're going to do that for binary number equals input. Okay, now we need to do a uh, time validation. We need to do a while loop. While BN, no, no, no. Um, yeah. While true, try. Got to do try and accept loop. Try. Uh, BN equals int bn except print it must be a number and then you've got to do bn equals input else break so we're done with that and it will just it will try until you put input a correct number and then it will, it will do is okay, so it will make um um so digits equals len bn right so um bn and you want to take the first number in it right so bn zero um hmm, one sec. Actually no, I've changed my mind. I've thought of another way to do this. We're gonna do uh do it make it a list. So what you wanna do is you wanna re um turn it back into a string. Right, so you wanna do BN. Just, this is just to make sure it can be put turned to an int at the very end, but we want it to be a string. So str bn. Then you want to do you want to do bn dot split so it turns everything inside into a list, every single digit. There's only ones and zeros, can't be that big. Uh, then, then you've got to do form i in bn. That's it. Then you've got to do i equals i to the power of digit. Sorry, I've got all digits. Digit still equals, um, you know, len bn. What you'll want to do is you'll want to go for i in bn, right, so it's a list. Um, what you want to do is you want to make it so um, bn, and you want to go to that number, uh, i equals int i, so int it, and you want to do i equals um, i times 2. And you'll want to do that to make sure it's two, otherwise the powers won't work. And then when you've got it as two, you want to do it to the power of digits. Um, and then, I'm not sure if this will work, but what we want to do is we want to do digits. Um, see, I've done a simple version of this before where it took each value and it was much easier, but. Um, you will do so digits minus count, because the first number will be the correct amount of the digits yet, but um, count will start at zero. Right, so put way at the back here, count equals zero. Right, count equals zero. And then at the bottom here in this for loop, count it increments by one each time. So I think this will work. And, it, and then uh, when it's done, print your number, oops, sorry, your number in denary, denary, is um, 
we got to make it so we actually get the number in there, haven't we? So, um, yeah, four, um, hmm. Ah, I think I've got it. Then you just do, um, you do general number by dn equals, um, zero. And you do four i in bn. Because you convert them all to denary in the list, you can just add them all up because they're all integers now. So you just do dn plus equals i. So it'll just add them all up. Now, if we run that, your, your denary number is dn. And uh, dn. There we go. And then we do another plus, and we do that, and then we do. And we do that. Yeah, we want to make it so it's an STR, don't we? There we go. Run module. We'll try that. Let's save it to. Let's name it awesome. We can name it whatever we like. Oh, scanning string literal. Oh, of course. Um, silly of me. No, no literal. We're doing that, that. There you go. Run. Okay, we'll enter your number. Uh, 101. Oh, int has no len. Uh, int has no len. Let's have a look at that. So, int has no len. Int has no length. Ah, okay. Maybe we should do the bn and the bn dot split beforehand, so it will have a length. That'll probably work better. So do that. Um, one zero one. Ah, dn plus one. Oh, oh. Oh, I see. One's str, one's int. Okay. It, what, how is that possible? Give me a second. I think I've got an idea because it's saying the strings. But just to make it easy, just do i equals int bracket i, just to make it easier. Now it should work. Okay, what is your number? 101. W well, uh, I'll be right back with this one, guys, because that's not right. Okay, guys, I'm back. I've fixed it now. It's simple. Don't really need it anymore. What you want is you want an actual list, right? Uh, instead of that string you had. So it wasn't actually working with the list thing. What you want to do is make a new variable called bn list and make it the list. Uh, so you can just do the list command and then bn. Digits equals the length of bn list. So all the things in the list. For the item in bn list, i equals it, that will work. And then you've got to do this, but it actually makes it double the size. So it does that times two, which just makes it double the size. Count plus equals one, right? So you increase count by one, it does work. Print i, print count, we don't need that anymore, it does work. Okay, so it's actually adding everything to the power of two times two, or the power of what it needs to be. dn equals zero. For i in bn list, i divided equals two. So you've got to do divide equals two, which is a shortcut for you to divide something. And it does make it the correct value. You have to int it first. Uh, I haven't been entered yet. I might have actually. Oh, uh, no, no, because it actually has a, a, a point zero on the end. So it's, it's just a horrible number. So you want to be an int. dn plus equals i. So you would add it onto the dn value, print again, your number is, is in, your number is, yeah. And it should print your number. Let's run it. So. Let's do it, let's do, um, 1011. Your number is 11, which is correct. And then we go back to this one. And your number, let's just do 101, which should be fine. Yes, it is. And let's do a more, even more complex one. Uh, oh god. Sorry, okay. And one more, let's do 1, 1, 1, 1, 15. And let's do, actually, let's do 6. 63, that is correct. Okay, guys, uh, it actually works. Thank you so much for watching this uh, binary converter. I hope to, uh, I'm going to do encryption next time I do a Python video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to do much more glorious content and premium stuff in the future with you. Thank you so much for watching and